Hello, I'm back. Um, I was gonna follow Don to work, but he's off work for a few days. So we're gonna go with Nina back to the detective career. And she should get a promotion today. And this will be my last video for today. It's kind of a lot of videos for one day, but I'm binge playing <laughs> since this just came out. So I won't always upload this many videos every day. But probably for, you know, the near foreseeable future. Training day two. Train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. Okay, so go on patrol. I assume... Hmm. The crime map. Which is back here. Go on patrol. So we just got here and we're leaving again. Nina has discovered that the suspect is an adult. When an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with the residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. So I need to chat with civilians and issue a citation. Uh, I don't see any people. There's someone back here. I guess these are people's houses. I'm not sure where this is. Here's an empty lot though. I told you to go talk to her. Uh, oh, you can go talk to Katrina Caliente, which is the Sims 4 version's mother. But in The Sims 2... Oh, I can't remember what their mom's name was. But it wasn't that. Dean is heading to work. How oh, y'all walk so slow? Secret basement lab. Out of this world modern. Sorry, that's my pop-ups. Uh, friendly. She 
looks unhappy. And mean no. Who can we issue a citation to? I guess she's leaving or something. Okay. So there's no one. What about these people? Introduction. Introduction. I guess I'll sit out here and wait for someone to do something. Issue a citation to Sims who are littering or fighting. Stop standing there. Are you littering? Ah, we'll get you. Don't know what you did, but you're getting a citation. Return to police station. I've returned. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin, APB. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. So, issue an APB on the crime map. Oh. So I guess that's taking me to the crime scene. Man, I like this job, but it has a lot of loading screens. All points bulletin, a suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the suspect. Use the notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. And it says the same thing up here. So I'm at the park. Uh, okay. So do I have anything in my notebook? Male, black hair, wearing jeans, and an adult. Uh, ask about suspect. 
ask about suspect. An adult male with black hair wearing jeans. Well, he's got black hair, but do yellow pants count as jeans? Hmm. That is totally not his face. Now that you mention it, I just saw someone like that right here. Why is it showing his face? about suspect oh 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 isn't that him right there running we're gonna assume it's him and arrest him he looks like a criminal anyway that ponytail hair oh wait no his hair's not black it's brown I may have made a mistake I may not get that promotion after all. Now that you've learned about work out in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your co-workers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit or bra browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. Uh, take a civilian report. Mm. Talk to Chief. I don't see any civilians around. Who's the Chief? Detective. Detective. Officer. Officer. Assistant. Assistant. Um. Receptionist. Uh, well. Talk to the chief. Check in with the chief at the police station. Hopefully by now you're tough enough to take a brow beating. Detective. Detective. Hmm. Ah, there's Chief. Search criminals at the booking station. Are there any? There's still no civilians. Search this guy. They never said if I arrested the right person or not.
Really? That didn't count as talking to the chief? Oh. Has to actually be talk to the chief. Caliente, you think you're pretty smart, don't you? I bet you think you're the smartest gal in the room. Well, I am here to tell you I've had bladder failures with twice the brains you've got, lady. Okay. Before your day is over. You get his fingerprints. case theories and the workday is almost over uh, take a police report Nina's workday will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she's doing. Some kids have been running through the neighborhood pool jumping. What do you mean that sounds like fun? They are trespassing. See if I got my promotion. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Nina did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge and a new title in her future. Nina has been promoted to officer. She will now, the, will now make an additional eight simoleons per hour for a grand total of 28 simoleons per hour. She has received the following bonus, money, and new clothes. Which I'm gonna guess is her police uniform. Now they just need cars so that she can get a police car. Like they had in... Was it, was it The Sims 3 where you got a police car as a cop? One of them. I don't know. Anyway, she's back home. You need to potty and eat. You're still at work. You don't have work for a few days. Uh, but I think I'm going to stop here and come back. Uh, let's see, she has work the next day, and she'll work tomorrow, so the next day we'll follow Dina back to work at the scientist place. <laughs>